I'm Dr. Pelta with Virginia Mason Franciscan Health, and this is Sports Science. Today, we are talking about the physical parts of the game of hockey. There's so many different aspects to the physical demands of hockey. The hockey check is a pretty powerful situation. I think you can equate it to that big hit over the middle that the wide receiver takes from the safety in football. Knocked away by Adams. But there's also a huge aerobic fitness component. You can think of the things that they do, the speed that they move at, the demand of just trying to skate like this for this sustained period of time. If there's a physical demand to a sport, you name it and hockey does it. I mean, um, stick battles, getting hit, all of that stuff feels pretty good. There are some risks in hockey that you can't really mitigate. There's going to be hits, there's going to be pucks flying and moving, and other aspects of it are, are just the overall fitness and load on the body that you can do a lot to prevent. So the reality is that these hockey players are doing all that on skates on a surface of ice. The intricacies of that, the athleticism of that is, is beyond compare.